have you been wanting to switch back to the number two? Uh, I mean, I never really wanted it, but it was just more so like, it was just a new opportunity, and I figured I would just take it. So, I mean, it doesn't change the style of play, so. But you had your whole family running around with the 84 on. Did they all have to get new clothes? Yeah, they did, sadly, but yeah. they'll adjust. I mean, we always adjust, so yeah. it'll be all right, though. But I told them I was going to get them some stuff, though. Obviously, last year you were kind of in tandem with CJ Dupree. How did it kind of feel being the number one guy so far in this first game? I mean, I mean, it's a good feeling, but I mean, as long as we win in, you know, as long as we win, it doesn't really matter to me. But I mean, it does feel good, though. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, though. Are the different routes with Gattis yeah. running the offense? Yeah, he has a much, uh, I like his offense. Like, it's a lot uh, deeper in the past game as long as it's like flexibility. And as long as everybody's doing what they're supposed to do, then that's what it always is. But yeah, it's a lot more flexible offense, though. I like the offense, yeah. yeah. Going off of that question, your first catch of the day, a 44-yard gain yes, over the deep middle, and then the, the touchdown was also over the deep middle. Um, was it something that uh, the tossing DVs were doing? Uh, would you guys see that you know allowed you to get so wide open on those two plays? I mean, it's pretty much the, we've been practicing those plays all week. Uh, and just what kind of looks they come out into, and we just felt like I mean that was a good play. So yeah, we've been repping it all week, and it just we put it to we put it out there today. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just one game. But how do you feel you were used differently today? Like you said with Gaddis versus maybe previous years with other coordinators. Uh, I mean. You know, I line up, uh, God is using me all over the field. So, I mean, it's kind of always been my role, but, you know, he's just, he's a real experienced coach. He knows what he's doing in the Big Ten. So, uh, I mean, we'll just get better from here, though. So. I think it was the SMU game last year. We needed a fourth down play. They got you the ball. It was short, and you bowled over three guys and got the first down. Yeah. It looked like, like the light went on for you. Mm -hmm. But at, at what point do you – now say that's my ball. Like, I'm the guy. <laughs> uh, I mean, I just coaches trust me. So I mean, I'm not a selfish guy. So as long as, as long as we clicking for real. So whether it's my ball in my hands, or if it goes to one of the receiver, or another tight end. I mean, as long as we clicking, then everything's good. So take us through that moment where you walked in the locker room and saw that you were getting the number two. Uh, I mean, it was a good feeling, but I mean, I kind of. I mean, I knew it was coming, but okay. it was a good feeling now, just finally seeing it. Yeah. A lot of depth yeah. in this pass catch room between the receivers and the tight ends. Do you yeah. feel like that opened up the offense today? Uh, definitely, because, I mean, it makes it hard for defenses to, you know, double team one guy, because you really can't because we have so many weapons. So, and we got a great quarterback. So, like, I mean, it's impossible for you to stop one guy, definitely, really, just because how many weapons we have. So, yeah. As the primary tight end, how's the blocking coming? Uh, the blocking, we've that was definitely my emphasis this off season, and I'm gonna just keep getting better at it, and you know, coaching the younger guys and just telling them how important it is. Cause I mean, nobody loves blocking, but I mean, it's definitely a part of football, part of football. So, so with Rico and the other guys, you taking on that leadership role? Definitely, yeah. I mean, I take those guys; they're real talented. I just uh, take them under my wing, show them everything I did wrong so that they don't get it wrong. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Piggybacking on that, I was thinking we could get a touchdown and gets negated. How do you kind of feel the tight end room is shaping up and what are you doing to mentor these younger guys? I mean, just tell them to just control their nerves and just stick to the technique that they were taught. And just all the stuff we work on in practice, don't do anything different in the game, just let it carry over. So someone's supposed to be a really funny guy, but you have yeah. to actually work for him. Yeah. Is he that funny in person? Yeah, nah, he a cool dude. I mean, I love him, but yes, that's my guy, so. We, uh, he's a great coach too, but great personality. He's just a great dude in general. So did, yeah, I know, like playing for him. I did love you know who he was him. before he got here? Yeah, he was. Yeah, I know exactly who he was. Like, I know all about him. We've talked about his past, my past. You know, to build a relationship. So yeah, we got a good relationship now. Talk more about Leah and how he, you felt he left.